Good morning, good morning. Welcome to our Marketplace Daily Devotion. Lady O here on this beautiful Tuesday morning, January the 17th. Amen. Are you ready? I'm inviting you. I am inviting you here today to hear an awesome word of the Lord talking this morning about a place of rest. A place of of rest. So go ahead and get your tea and your coffee. I've already had my morning tea, but go ahead and get your cup, uh, your coffee, whatever you need. Amen. And just come sit with me for just a few. Not going to be before you too long today because today, amen, we're just simply talking about a place of rest. And God is still dealing with the children of Israel at the foot of Mount Sinai, amen, giving them their instructions and, and, and going over the laws and how they are to be able to coexist, you know, with one another. And so we're finally in the book of Leviticus. And so our scripture text this morning is going to be, going to be coming from Leviticus, the 19th chapter and the third verse. Amen. Leviticus, the 19th chapter and the third verse. And it reads, Every one of you shall revere his mother and his father and keep my Sabbath. I am the Lord your God. Again, every one of you shall revere his mother and his father and keep my Sabbath. I am the Lord your God. The definition of revere is actually reverence. And reverence is having a profound respect and love for one. Uh, when you have a reverent attitude, God honors. You know, when you have a reverent attitude of God, you honor him. Is what I was actually trying to say. When you have a reverent attitude. And when you have a reverent attitude of your parents and those who uh, are in leadership over you, you honor them. You express your gratitude to them. And you express your gratitude to God by obeying his commandments. You should be reverent uh, in your behavior as well as your attitude to those that you are, uh, you know, that you have in that position. You really should be, you know, everybody deserves a, 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 uh, an amount of respect. Uh, but, you know, especially those who are in leadership over you or those, amen, like the uh, Lord lists here as, you know, a mother or a father, your parents, you know, uh, your pastors and people of that nature, your bosses, you know, you should always uh, have them in a place of respect because, you know, they, they you should put, uh, you know, play an important part of your life. Your parents, you know, your your coworker, you're the president, you know, these people. And so, in this verse, we find that God is comparing uh, how young children should obey their parents, and adults uh, should respect their parents, and how we all, like I said, should you know reverence and respect God. We all should, you know, he's our creator. He's the one that made you. That should go without saying that we should honor and respect him. But one of the things that I witnessed in Dubai when me and my husband was there in December is that, you know, it didn't matter what you were doing over there. or It didn't matter if you was having dinner, breakfast, staying in a hotel, out shopping. We were out shopping one day in the marketplace, and 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 when it was time for prayer, they pray five times a day. When it was time for prayer, that alarm went off throughout the nation. I guess they have intercoms on on the on the the um the the light poles or or, or whatever outside because you can hear this alarm everywhere. If you're watching TV, this alarm, the you know, the program was shut down of what you're watching for uh, the 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 men to come on, on to pray. They have a certain amount of honor and respect for their leaders, the ones who they hold in leadership there. So much so that you don't even see that in the Western civilization. And so we have lost 
our honor and respect for God in, in, in America. You know, we, we've lost that. You don't see that out of our young people. You don't see that being even taught, you know, to our young people. We've lost that here. But let me tell you, you know, God should be, you know, we should revere him. He should be honored. He should be respected. He's God of, he's, he's our creator God. He's Lord of Lords, King of Kings. He is the one and only true God. And so we should uh, honor and respect him. It says the one way that we do this is by obeying his commandments. And the one and, and one of them is to keep the Sabbath day holy. That's one of the commandments to keep the Sabbath day holy. The word Sabbath comes from a Hebrew word that means uh, to rest from labor. The word holy means something that is sacred or dedicated to God. Your life should be kept holy because you should dedicate your life to the Lord. Here, God was trying to teach the children of Israel how they needed to live unto him. You know, they had came out of Egypt, a place where they served many, many gods. But here they were saying, no, I am not one of the best gods and I'm not one of many, but I am the only God. And you should reverence and, and serve me and dedicate your life to me. And so that is what he is asking of us today. Have no other God before him. Ha, you know, and there are many gods, there are many ways to have idol gods before God. You know, like I, as I said in my other devotion, our, our children, our work. You know, our money, <laughs> you know, our cars, our homes. There are many things that we have put. An idol is something that you worship more than God. And so here God was letting the children of Israel know that they are not to have any other God. And they are to show this by keeping the Sabbath. I believe that in this season, God is requiring that we trust him more. And in doing that, Amen. We're going to learn how to rest in him. Rest from our own ways of doing things. I, I'm guilty. I'm guilty and God is teaching me. I'll be transparent. God is teaching me how to rest, Odessa. You know, you've done this your way for years. You've worked, you know, uh, uh, I don't know how many jobs for years. I'm bringing you into a place where I want you to rest in me. And I believe that in this season, that is what God is not only telling me and trying to show me, but he is doing that to many of his people. Why? Because he is wanting to take us to another level. He is wanting to stretch our capacity, but he can't do that if we don't give ourselves to him. Amen? One of the strategies of the enemy is to exhaust the people of God by shooting fiery darts of doubt, wearing them out mentally and their faith toward God. This is one of the strategies of the enemy that I've noticed that uh, he has done uh, with the people of God, wearing them out, you know, overly committing yourself, overly working, you know, Overly worrying about things that you can't change. Wearing yourself out. You know, that's why he tells us to put on the whole armor, the shield of faith. Why? To ward against the fiery darts of doubt that the enemy is sending your way. To, to, uh, to bring accusations against God, making you focus on all the things he hasn't done rather than what he has done. You know... Making you feel like, God, you know, you know, I, I, I've been getting this prophetic word for years and it hasn't come to pass yet. So now he's bringing accusations, making you feel that God's word isn't true. <laughs> That's one of the strategies of the enemy. Hmm. <laughs> mm, but we have to learn to enter into his rest. We have to learn to enter into his rest. And rededicate our lives to him by reverencing, reverencing, and having a profound respect and love for God. Let me say that again. We have to enter into his rest. 
by trusting in Him, reversing Him, rededicating our lives to Him, and having a profound respect and love for Him. Amen. So, today I want to pray. I want to pray especially for those who may have been weary in your walk with Christ. I want to pray for those who may have lost sight of who God really is to you. I want to pray that God will renew your, your, your faith, renew your strength, renew your mind. He tells us to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. So, Father God, we thank you today for your goodness and your mercy. We thank you, Father. We ask today, God, and, and I ask for your people that are even listening, that you would give us the grace to keep the Sabbath holy. God, we need a day of rest. And, and, and you need us, Father God, to trust you to do that. Help us to balance out our lives every day. So many times, Father, we, we, we put too much on our plate. We overwork. We overextend in our commitments to others. And sometimes, Father God, uh, when, when we can't keep, keep those uh, commitments and it makes us come off to people as not being able to be trustworthy, Father God, when, when we really just overextend it, doing things that we should not do and then not doing many of the things that we should. Misdirection. <laughs> That's another one of Satan's many tricks, uh, you know, uh, for he, we know he is the master of disguise. He is uh, a master deceiver and he's good at Father God causing distractions and, and distractions is a spirit misdirecting your people so that they don't focus on the things that they should. Help us, Father God, not to be deceived. Help us to observe a God-centered rest, <laughs> a rest that you're calling us to, and not just an aimless rest, but a God-centered rest. Help us, Father, to discern with a keen eye, sharpen our vision, our supernatural eyes, God, to see what it is that you would have us to see. Help us to hear what it is, Father God, that you would have us to hear, fine-tuning our ears, God, to the frequency of heaven's tune, remembering to acknowledge you in everything that we do so that you may always direct our path. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I thank you so much for joining me. This is Lady O today saying I love you and I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is hump day. Please remember to subscribe, to share, and to like these daily devotions. Overcoming your fear. Yes, sometimes the reason why we can't rest in God is because we have those hidden fears. And we're trying to do it our way. For this time out to trust him. Until tomorrow, smooches. Mm -hmm.